an extraordinary script and um, you know it had so much heart to it and uh, I love the transition from the lighter qualities the kind of fable quality into something that uh, really explores the psyche in just a deeper darker way. Did you personally relate to it on any level that you yeah. really wanted to make this film? I think so I mean I, I'm, I do tend to make movies about spiritual crisis people in spiritual crisis and uh, family uh, how, how the family dynamic the tapestry of, of the family knits together and affects each other, not just in this generation, but in past generations, and how that all kind of comes to haunt you. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's very much in keeping with the films I make, and I've, I do feel like, even though I'm not a 50-year-old man, <laughs> that uh, this was a movie I knew from the inside out. And how did you know Mel was going to be perfect for this role? I mean, that you could cover all these dynamics in this, in this very difficult role. Um, well, you know, I knew he was right because he, well, we knew, we knew he could handle the lighter stuff, that he has an incredible wit to him and a kind of grace to him and panache, the charmingness of what the beaver was, but I also knew from, from, from knowing him and from uh, lots of discussion and what a kind of a deep thinker and feeler he is, um, that he could, he could really understand a man's struggles and would, wouldn't be afraid in some ways to face them head on.